it up. They're like all robots. Stop doing the yeah. same thing at the same time. This is uh, JP Freeman from our New Hampshire Regional Car Block. And we're here with uh, Ethan G of New Hampshire Regional Car Block. Oh yeah, I can't even. <laughs> Just gonna show you the back of your shirt. Um, and uh, New Hampshire Regional Car Block uh, YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you hit a like and subscribe. We're in Manchester, New Hampshire on this el very illegal um, uh, checkpoint, which is a violation of uh, Fourth Amendment. And of course, the uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got uh, eight police officers here. Nine, nine police officers here. They actually have to file um, a petition in court in Superior actually to get permission to do the checkpoint. And um, usually the Superior Court um, requires them to come up with a safety plan before it's granted. And they have to have uh, the safety plan on site. And uh, the last one, they didn't have it on site. I kind of made their life a little bit hell on that one. It's a court order. Yeah. They have to have it on site. The first vehicle is uh, 63442. And uh, the other one is uh, 6344, I think. Let me zoom in on it. 6343. And they have a, um, a pickup truck and um, an SUV parked way over there. Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and Tweedledumber. A lot of Tweedles. And then, uh, Geneva Convention. Shit. It's a Geneva Convention, sir. I'm stopping you from moving your vehicle. You moved. Yeah, I just cited you for moving your lips. That was a good <laughs> one, man. That was a very good one. I ex if you uh, if you want a Mountain Dew, I got one in there. Since we're uh, not free state, it's just not a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> With shrooms. Yeah, the civil disobedience is getting sloshed at the checkpoint. But it's funny, I don't see any any free staters even here. Or at, is there a container in Manchester? I don't know, ask one of them. I'm not familiar with the... Hey, excuse me. Do you guys have an open container uh, ordinance here? It's a lot. No, I mean even uh, for pedestrians. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so the free state is a fucked. <laughs> they can't drink. <laughs> the only place I know of where you can drink in public, I think, New Orleans, maybe Las Vegas. That's yeah. all I know. Yeah, they got their hands full there anyway.
Off, every single one of them get alerted. They're like, what's, what's going on? It, it literally, yeah. they train memory. You get all uh, spike, you spiked up on their reactions. Thank you. I'm going to try to get to the median. Hey, wouldn't it be jaywalking if half the street's blocked off, right? We fight that, right? With caution, with caution. I don't know why they find out. <laughs> There's caution, sir. I promise. When we walked by over there, the uh, cop actually called me a college kid. The one that's in the back's like, oh, there's a college kid. Call it college kids with their video cameras. Yeah, we're from the university. <laughs> I'm probably older than half of them. <laughs> I never, I never went though, remember? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, see these cabs, man? We can get back to the car. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, since he's being somewhat respectful and receptive and responsive. Oh, he's taking a cone with him. <laughs> he's taking a cone with him. You hit a cone, sir. You're being cited for moving a cone. They're making him go through it instead of moving the cone for him. Wow. Poor thing. Stop scaring the girl. Hey, is that a... Is that a checklist or is that a, uh, you write down the plate you stop? Inquiries have to go through the public information officer, Lieutenant O'Keefe. Okay, so you're not a human being now, you just want to be a dickhead, okay. That means I'm going to be a nightmare for you tonight. 
Well, thank you. Violating the Eighth Amendment of the state constitution, that's fine. Douchebag. Yeah, I'm JP from New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock. Nice to meet you. The non-free stater that's going to be heckling you for the rest of the night. Sir. Before I even finish the answer, he's like, you need to go through the information office. You're a public servant, man. You're required to answer my questions whether you fucking like it or not. Hey, can you can you pull up the Eighth Amendment for me? I'll read it right to him. The Eighth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Yeah. 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 Yeah, see, these guys are used to dealing with drunken, high free staters. You know, my information office is right here. What's going on, man? How are you? Yeah, all right. Expand it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Put it on. I'll wait for this uh, car, car to go because I'm going to do it as loud as I can. That Sergeant Brennan. Officer, I think he swerved a bit. <laughs> He's stopping him from moving his vehicle. Violated the moving vehicle ordinance. I mean, how are, how are these cars supposed to move out of there? Look how close together those cones are. How, how does that make any sense to you? I'm supposed to pull forward and then... Yeah. Oh, it's weird. Yeah. But there's one All I got is like, after there's one, like, right in one the middle of the... Middle in a of white t-shirt and one's in a black yeah. t-shirt. That's that phantom like car I saw earlier. Really there back toward dual PD. That's behind that SUV. Yeah. yeah. Copy, nothing showing. You gonna keep him there? I can't hear you. Where are you going? Okay, nothing showing the area of Merrimack, Pine, or the Thirsty Moon. But our head is south on Chestnut. Oh, I see. The trick, the trick actually One tried to pull out before. One person is going to have a bad facial injury straight. is what they're saying. Mm. That's a, that's South on Chestnut. Yeah, I'm telling you, you can read this. See, nobody listens to free stairs. The cars are coming right in. Yeah. Not doing their job. Hold more sides, get more lasers, yeah. man. Yeah. You need to drink more beer. Happy. Put that laser right on the windshield. Violation 
are you saying north on Chestnut? <clears throat> we just now have Chestnut and Manadnock. Yeah, no, that's where we're off. Uh, okay. One, three, go ahead. Stockholm Syndrome. Oh, you get just chilling your job. Oh. You can lock me up and take my freedom away, steal my property, <laughs> kill my animals, and kill me. <laughs> but I love you. You're doing your job. <laughs> yeah, you too. You're doing such a good job. Stopping everybody and violating my constitutional right to free travel. <laughs> I feel so safe. <laughs> I'll on, a, on a desolate road with nobody on it, except for two guys with cameras and Gestapo at the Berlin Wall. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm, I'm so proud of you. Central off with some kids in the back of an Uber. Well, I need one. Perfect, thank you. Well, I'm just gonna read it even too late to stop. I'm gonna start some coke Got suspicious over there. You sniffing something dead? I know you smell something over there, son. I want to slight you for sniffing. <laughs> you're snorting in your vehicle? You sn you're sniffing next to your vehicle? I know you hit something underneath the, the passenger seat. Is that why you're wiping your nose? You see how one of them ran away? Hey, your buddy left you, man. You guys definitely got airborne range, man. You never leave anybody behind. I your battle buddy behind. Come on. He <laughs> took off and left you hanging, dog. <laughs> Dude, you deal with JP. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. The only way you can blink when the fucking what? siren goes. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the joy. I thought that was going through the scanner. Oh, really? Yeah. really? I wish it was a setting to shut it to shut it off to have the just the light separate, but you can't. You really yeah. That dude picking his nose, dog. Did you get that on camera? Who? <laughs> oh, dig it for gold, man. <laughs> Let's see. Accountability of magistrates and officers, public right to know. All power residing originally in, being derived from, the people. All magistrates and officers of the government are their substitutes and agents at all times. Not just at the information office. Take one. And at all times are accountable to them. Government, therefore, should be open, Two, three, four, one, 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 accessible, uh, accountable, and responsive. Okay. To that end, the public's right of access to governmental proceedings and records shall not be unreasonably restricted. Like making me wait till fucking Monday to look at what you have in your hand instead of just being a human being and telling me. Since it's going to be posted on a freaking YouTube channel with like 3.4 million views, not just a measly little state site, you're just going to look like a prick anyway. Well, you're not talking about me because I've been nothing. You, you've been great. You've been awesome. In fact, I remember you before. Uh, I think it, two years ago. You're the one that showed me the uh, the safety plan when you were getting in the SUV. That's 
when you guys had the uh, the checkpoint over at the in front of the uh, New Hampshire um, liquor store. That's it. What would you like tonight? I just wanted to know what those papers are. Is it like a checklist or did you just write down the plates yourself? It's just the plates. Oh, okay. Every plate, the time in, the time out. See, what, was that hard? It's not hard. But, you know, <laughs> some people... They think they they think we're free staters and we're here to antagonize you. I understand that, but we're not free staters. We're on a whole like different level, suspects, uh, whole new level. We don't what? drink, we don't smoke, we don't we do none of that shit. Silly question. No, that just, you know, as, no, as human beings, no such thing as a silly question. <laughs> What, what do you guys, what, what, what's your whole deal? What, what, New, Hampshire, what New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock is, we're basically uh, yeah, a chapter deal. that's a, a sister chapter of coplock.org, uh, right which is the national center. One, one, two, what's uh, the two, three, purpose four. of it? It's uh, media. It's a media yeah, site. Yeah, okay. we write newspaper articles, we write articles, we actually go to the courts, we write stories in the courts. Um, and there's you know, accountability. I mean, yeah, we, we had also someone... follow up with, uh, you know, we actually help people prep for lawsuits. And, complaints with EDG's office and we go up the ladder. We haven't had a real big presence in uh, Manchester because of the, the big, you know, uh, population you guys have of free states here. But, you know, it's obvious since we've been coming here on a weekly basis for the past two weeks, you know, offices aren't used to us. You know, I used to be in directed questions almost like they do to people, so, you know, and, uh, I'll give you a card. Thanks. That's who we, we are. Party on the phone that we have some Evidence over at Hanover and Pine. I guess a shirt from one of the suspects that's covered in blood. Well, I'm like a Hanover and Pine. You know, well, I'm like a bee's nest. If you give me respect, I'm gonna show you right back. I'm gonna be calm and collected. Let me tell you something. I'm a lot. I'm a lot older than I look. Me too. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. How old are you? Fifty-one. Fifty-eight. Really? Been on the job for thirty-two years. No shit. You wouldn't lie to you. No reason to. And. You're pretty really, good, man. I, I don't have. I'm, I'm, I'm I don't, 41. I don't have a problem with accountability. I don't have a problem with what, uh, recording. Uh, uh, they can be pretty antagonistic. They can be, but you know what? They're just looking to provoke a response that's going to make them. Look looking for views. Like they're victims or something like mm. that. And it's yeah. ridiculous because. In all the years I've been a policeman, I think I've maybe seen one or two instances yeah, yeah, where yeah. cops have done something stupid and they've been called on. And I've seen people that have been disciplined. I've seen guys that are no longer police officers. No, I and mean, that's how it should be. I don't like that. The reason why we came here a week ago and started uh, hitting you guys a lot is because the uh, this false perception that some of the Manchester Police Department has about taking people's recording devices for evidence purposes if they're filming an arrest. Um, we have a video of a cop saying that he thought he could, and then we have another video of it happening. Um, it went through Brennan, it didn't get too far with him because he thought he was a know-it-all, and he started getting mouthy on the phone, and that's all on video. Um, so I ended up talking, who was the second sergeant that I talked to that was really brown? Brown? Yeah, yeah. Um, he was decent. Um, and receptive, and then I started talking to, uh, do you remember the last name of the uh, county attorney? No, because we were supposed to go there yesterday. Yeah, we closed. had the email. Oh, no. Uh, one of the state attorneys, uh, we're going through them, and we're going we're going that route now because we didn't get anywhere, and uh, Lieutenant Vince is not going to be able to get to him until Monday. So. I know he was on today. I mean, it was, a, it was a training officer that thought he, could, he did take a yeah, phone because uh, they were recording. Officer Finn, training officer. He was with uh, <clears throat> Healy and Huntington. Harring <throat> Harrington. Officer Harrington and Healy. Mm -hmm. And uh, training officer Finn. Yep. I don't really know what training officer Finn. Yeah, it was there. It's, I, it's I, the, I, I got no idea. Yeah, it's a police report. Well, basically what happened was they were arresting some guy named uh, Carlos Ramos, or his last name is Ramos, and the person came out of the house to video record on her phone. Yep. So she's probably like from here to that 293 sign. Yeah, that's fine. 
Finn comes across and says, I need your camera for evidence. Somebody on a deck had that on video. Set it in the garage. Um, streaming live, Bamboozer. Bamboozer is a, a site that does live streams, almost like YouTube. Um, and Finn's like, if you don't give me the camera, I'm going to arrest you for obstruction. That's a no. No, he needs a warrant and a subpoena for that. Yeah, I'm pretty for sure that's not cool. No, and the, attorney, the state attorney said the same thing. He's going to throw a memo out. I mean, she wants to sue. They had her thrown for two two days. Me, coming from a, coming from, looking from the outside in, I think because she has a history with drugs or whatever, they were trolling her phone for info. Um, but that that's my suspicion, and it, it's an assumption, alleged. But, but we get, you know, messages with people want to want help with those kind of problems. It's a lot of what we do. Everybody's got their thing. Yeah. But if you if you go to the YouTube channel, New Hampshire Regional Cop like YouTube library, we have a we actually have uh, witness over there with some evidence. more good interactions than bad. Believe it or not, we actually bring a coffee to a Henneke cop almost every time we're out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> no. I'll tell you to be honest. You know, <clears throat> when I'm working and in my own personal life, I've made it a policy to treat people how I would have to be treated if I was in that position. Uh, I, I find that if you give respect, you get it back. You know, there's always going to be somebody that might not want to be accepted. Are you uh, are you part time now? No, you still full time. You patrol. I work in the traffic division. Jeez. Hmm. Like every day I'm on the street, I still do the SWAT thing. And, uh, really? I enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Do you do any uh, gun safety training or anything for the new newbies at the academy? Or? I do a little bit of it, yes. Uh, I was a field training officer for many, many years. I didn't do that much anymore. I do a lot of ride-alongs with interns. I do some ride-alongs with the press. Yeah, Keene, New Hampshire doesn't do ride-alongs anymore. Yeah. Keene's a whole different world. We should do ride-alongs for cops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, JP well. riding in a cruiser. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. No, do I four cops. My, I don't know what I'm saying. They, they can do a ride, ride along with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have a cop <laughs> ride along with us. Yeah. Wait, when, when are you retired? Two more years. Oh, no kidding. That's my plan. Anyway, you heading south or are you staying up there? My family's from Dallas. I got a ton of family there, but my wife is a union girl and she's not moving. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think yeah, I'm they're pretty, Yeah, they're pretty dug in here if they're from New England. Especially if they're from Mass. Nobody from Mass wants to be that state. I mean, I get the worst of both accents. I was born in Brockton, Brockton, Massachusetts, and raised in Brooklyn, so I got literally, it's almost simultaneously, too. One parent during the summer and one parent during the school year. But, uh. Oh, boys, we get about 15 more minutes, we're gonna wrap it up. Okay, do you um, you guys have the, you, you don't have to show it to me or anything, you have the safety manual on, on hand? I don't know, because I'm just a patrol member. I'm pretty sure we've got a, a game plan. Um, well, the, uh, the briefing beforehand. Yeah, I know uh, when you guys file file with the judge um, to have it, um, they usually require you to have the safety plan on site. I'm pretty sure we do. Like I said, we obviously we do the briefing beforehand. So and since you, since you covered your... Uh, you're a young, hard-headed guy, so I'm not going to ask for it. I'm just leave you alone. Too <laughs> sure. Me and him have been sick for a few days. He had a cold, and I had some st stupid stomach for a few days, uh, Monday and Tuesday. So. There's some stuff going around here. I'm just dealing with the allergies. Yeah. Yeah. Pollen's popping and so forth. And it's a full moon. It most certainly is. I can tell you that based on the calls the last few days. <laughs> <laughs> Now who's the, who's the, uh, the, is there a lieutenant here? It's not Vincent, is it? What's his name? He's the head of traffic division. I never, never heard of him. We'll be here more. We'll do what we gotta do, right? Yeah, as long as they're following the Constitution and... Okay. Telephone support, Stafford, right here. We have a possible overdose. I'm not a... Yeah, there's another one. Yeah. 
I hope the overdose is in decibels. Well, that's one yeah. one Horrific. thing. One thing I've been very critical of the free state is about because they think everything like that is a victimless crime. And that's it's bullshit. Not victimless. It, it, it's heroin's not, not victimless. No. I'm for man. I'm from Brooklyn and Brockton, man. I grew up in the, the mid '80s and into the '90s, man. I was there during the crack epidemic, man. And I had, like almost every single member of my friends are done. They're gone. I'm dead serious, and, and a few of my family members. So I, you know, I know what it does to a community. I know what it does to the economy. I know what it does to families, and I know what it does to your neighborhood. It definitely is not victimless. They can go fuck themselves on the victimless shit when it comes to heroin. Everything. What people will do to support their habits. Did he did he actually do that just to get through the red light? Or is he responding to that deep that he's headed for the open? Yeah. Yeah, that that's it's, that it's a horrible, horrible epidemic. And, it, and it's the painkillers that get him on. That's why they, that's why police need to stop the victimless crime shit, like the little tail light being out doing these. This is a waste of your time. I mean how many cars do you get? Like we've been here what, hour and a half? Something like that. A little over an hour. We maybe counted four. I think we would certainly have more business for work for our friends up on the corner of the you know. That's true. You guys picked a pretty funnel spot, man. It's strategic. If you're doing a, if you were doing a checkpoint on Baghdad Highway, in the middle of Baghdad, you took the road just like this, right between the buildings. Stopping all the cars right here. That's exactly where it would be. This is separate from the party. I don't do the ambush anymore. This is like I have the Marine Corps. No, it's all good. You know, enough to do now, I'm worried. Just, just after? 6890, Yeah. Yeah. High school in 76, 77, I was at Paris Island. Yeah, I know the Marines did a big, big push in Panama. You guys took the canal in two and a half hours. You know how old the canal is that I'm on the Yeah, very good experience. How many years did you do? It's four? Four in 1929. Use it up. Have a good one, man. Be safe. Thank you. Oh, you de-escalated me. Did it die on you? No. Just let it run. Oh, it's doing a little bit of Oh, yeah.